Hi guys, my name is Ravi Prakash and welcome to a good unconventional cat level set, right? So this is a, a good unconventional cat level set. You try, try to pause the video, solve this set, okay? And then we'll look at the uh, solutions, right? This is the four questions actually, okay? So one, two, three, four, right? So just try to see these four questions, okay? Pause the video and attempt these four questions actually, right? Then we'll see. What is the conditions for it, right? Okay. So, let's understand this set now. So, Rohit rolls a biased dice on each of face, uh, each face of which only one number among 1, 2 and 3 is written. Okay. Uh, this is exactly two phases here. For each of the first three rows, a different number among 1, 2 and 3 occurs. So, this is a condition given the question, right? This is a condition, very important condition could be. So, see this. For each of the First three rules, a different number among one to three has occurred, right? He decided to stop rolling the dice only when the number of occurrence of two is more than twice the number of occurrence of uh, one and three. Okay. And the number of occurrences of one and three is such that one of them other, uh, occurred more than twice the number of times the other one has occurred. So let's uh, uh, write these uh, two conditions here, right? What are the two conditions here? It is first condition is, so let's say number of one okay number of one so one is occurring total let's say x times okay number of two so let's say y uh, two is occurring total y times okay and let's say number of z so number of three three is occurring z times so what is the condition here first condition is the number of occurrence of two is twice is is more than twice the number of any one of one and three that means y is greater than two x dice will stop or y is greater than 2z dice will stop right so any one of uh, this three okay so y is greater than 2x or y is greater than 2z so okay, dice will stop right okay fine now what is third condition second condition here second condition is number of occurrences of one and three is such that one of them occurred more than thrice the number of times the other one occurred that means either either x is greater than 3z or z is greater than 3x then y will stop the roll will stop then the dice will stop rolling right so rohit is continuously rolling when these two conditions are met for example suppose let's understand this set right we'll do the question but understand this set now so if number of one number of two and number of three right so one condition for rolling stopping the dice is let's say one has occurred two times okay so when 2 has occurred 5 times, that is number of times 2 is twice the more than number of 1s, then dice will stop, right? So in 3 also should be in this range, right? 3 should also be not more than 6, right? So one condition for loading the dice, stopping the dice is 2, 5 and 6, correct? So first one is 2, second is 5 and third uh, 3 times is 6 times, 3 is occurring 6 times. So total 2 plus 5 plus 6, 17 times. So one of the conditions, right? I'm just checking that this dice will uh, roll, uh, this rolling will get stopped because so you can see here number of one is not more than number of threes, uh, three times, right? So x is greater than three z or z is, z, z is greater than three x. So till now this is two and this is six, so it's exactly three times. So second condition not being satisfied, so right dice will not stop rolling. First condition y is greater than two x. That means five is more than double double of two. That's fine. That the rolling will stop here. Or the condition could be, if one is, if this is 2, then this is 4. Again, dice will not stop because y is not greater than 2x. So first condition not being satisfied here. Okay. And then this could be 7. So if this is 7, then again dice will stop, right? So total, total in this case is 15. Okay. 2 plus and 4 plus 7. Because now in this case, number of time 3 is occurring is 3 times more than number of 2s, right? So z, x is greater than 3z or z is greater than 3, this condition is satisfied here, right? So dice will stop, so dice will stop after 15 rows, okay? So just an example, just to discuss this set, right? Now let's look at the question here, okay? Let's look at the questions now. So if you look at these questions actually, first question, look at this first question, with the given conditions here. So first question here is, if Rohit has stopped rolling, rolling the dice exactly after 40 rows, that means number of times one has appeared, number of times 2 has appeared and number of times 3 has appeared. Total is equal to 40, right? 
number of times 1 2 and 3 has appeared total is equal to 40 so what could be maximum possible number of occurrences of 2 okay so satisfy this part right to maximize 2 i can maximize 2 by this first condition 2 is mentioned in first condition here 2 is not mentioned in second condition right it's it is only mentioned in first condition so what can a maximum value of 2 right so i can see that this y is more than twice of these values here right so if i just for example let's assume that okay it is more than twice the values so one case can come to my mind is can it be 20 10 and 10 kind of right because 10 plus 20 is 30 30 plus 10 is 40 okay and uh, this is around double right so y is uh, this number of times 2 is occurring around double of 3 and 2 is occurring around double of 1 right so we'll think around these conditions 10 20 and 10 of course this is not the answer because dice will not stop now why dice why roll will not stop now why roll will not stop now because number of twos is not greater than twice the number of one or three they just equal now not greater right so dice will not stop rolling so it think around these numbers 10 20 and 10 okay fine so can i say that can the maximum value of 2 be 20 so of course not right because if 2 is 20 right then in that case what will happen if this 2 is 20 so to stop the dice rolling i can have this 3 as 9 or this 1 as because at 10 dice will not stop rolling because number of times should be greater than double so if 3 or 1 is 9 in this case what will happen so if 3 is 9 so if 3 is 9 in that case dice will stop at 19 only right because at 19 because the moment it goes beyond the double the dice stops so if 3 is 9 and double is 18 so at 19 dice will stop rolling right that means it won't reach to 20 if this is 9 here okay so if 3 is 9 it won't reach to 20 now other thing you can you can think in mind is can 3 be 11 or can any one of this be 11 also so if this is 11 for this to be 11 for this to be 11 the number and dice to stop roll right dice to stop roll the other number has to be minimum 23 right because this should be double than it twice okay sorry so this should be more than the twice 11 twice is 22 plus 1 23 right understand very carefully right this double this 23 now 11 plus 23 is 34 now number of time 3 is what 6 right this condition will not occur at all why this condition will not occur at all okay why this condition will not occur at all because y should be as soon as y is greater than 2z dice will stop so if one of the numbers has to be 6 okay if one of the numbers has to be 6 then dice will stop rolling when it is double than this then it will stop at 13 only it won't reach 23 at all right double of 6 is 12 at 13 it will stop it won't it won't stop rolling it won't roll, uh, roll after 13 actually right that means when as soon as it double more than double of number of ones or number of threes okay as soon as number of two is more than double of number of one or number of threes dice will stop rolling fine so that means this number cannot be more than 20 for sure right because for this to be 20 this is 9 uh, this cannot for this to be 20 not at all possible because at if it is 9 this has to be 19 okay let's discuss some cases to understand this set right the question we can solve later right just understand this set to discuss some cases actually we're discussing some cases to understand this set okay now can i say that can we number here be so at for sure my number here can't be uh, 20 right because if this if any one of this is 10 if any one of this is 10 3 or 1 then for dice to stop rolling number of twos has to be 21 more than the double 21 plus 10 31 in that case total total to be 40 number of 1 has to be 9 if any one of them is 9 that means 9 double is what 18 then dice will stop rolling at 19 only it won't reach 21 at all right getting it that means in any case my number will not be 20 or more than 20 fine okay so let's discuss here for this question now so what i told initially we'll discuss for this around 20 and 10 so if around 20 and 10 if the max number cannot be 20 right then can the max number be 19 let's check can it be 19 if it is 19 so to stop the dice from uh, rolling right the other number has to be 9 9 at 19 because if number of 3 is 9 number of 3 is 9 9 double is 18 just more than double dice will stop rolling so 19 plus 9 28 and this would be 12 so 12 plus 19 plus 9 is equal to 40 right if 12 plus 19 plus 9 is equal to 40 that means this dice will stop rolling and this case satisfies right it is it is more than double of any one it is not more than double of one also now so at 19 dice will stop rolling if number of 3 or 1 is 9 
That means answer for this question is what? 19. Answer for this question is what? 19 here. Okay. And then we can form two cases actually, right? What are the two cases here? The case one could be 12, 19 and 9. Other case could be, I can just reverse it. 9, 19 or 12. Okay. So 9, 19, 12 is still, still 40, right? Because the condition is symmetrical. No, it is Y is more than 2X or Y 2Z. In either case, dice will stop rolling, right? So 9 is double of 19. 9 double, double more than double 19, right? So in any case, answer is 19 and we can have two cases here. Number in first case, one would be 12. In other case, one would be uh, 9. Okay, this is the answer. For first question, answer is 19. Let's move to second question now. What could be the number of times one occurred in the previous above previous question? So in the previous question, one occurred how many times? So in this case, we can see it is either 12 or 9. So we can mark D option 12 or 9. Right? It's absolutely clear this set. I hope it is clear now. Okay. Now let's go to third question now. If Rohit has stopped rolling the dice, now let's again commit, right? Uh, let's have the conditions here. Okay. The condition here is what? If Rohit has stopped rolling the dice after 30 rounds, what could be the minimum possible number of times one has occurred? Okay. Now, so what here, what you need to think here? Number of times one plus number of times twos plus number of times threes. The total has to be 30, right? So from where? So now it depends on what? Minimum possible number of one occurred, right? So one will depend on two parts here, right? One is occurred in here also. Number of one here is as assumed as X. So X is appearing here also and X is appearing here also. So we have to take care of both the conditions actually, right? I have to minimize one. So minimize one means what? I'll try to keep one as less as possible. Okay. So let's put a this condition because X should be greater than 3Z. So we'll focus more on this condition and we'll see that this condition also should be satisfied. So from where to start thinking, right? How to start thinking? So you can start thinking from keep with one as less as possible, right? Let's try and put some number here. Let's say, let's say you can, can one be three here, right? Can one be three? If I put three here, then the maximum I can do with three, it can go till nine. Till nine, the dice will not stop rolling. Fine. So if till nine, the dice cannot stop rolling, right? Because Z has to be greater than three X. Okay. So three has to be, the now this is exactly three times. As soon as it become 10, more than three times, dice will stop rolling, right? Okay, fine. So in this case, if this is three, I can go maximum here till nine. If I go, can go maximum here till nine, then where two I can, what, what can you do value now? So two is more than the double of this value, then dice will, dice will stop rolling, right? So if it is three, either two can be six, right? Uh, so in that case, this has to be 10. As soon as this is double, and this is more than a triple dice will stop rolling but 3 plus 6 plus 10 is only 19 i want 30 here right even if i change it if this is 3 if i make 2 7 i take this as 9 it's still 3 plus 7 plus 9 is only 19 i want 30 that means 3 is not the minimum value of this one got it right okay so just understand right now can i can i give 4 as the value can i give 4 as the value can 4 be the minimum value of one if 4 is to the minimum value of one this three should be more than three times of it. So it could be 13 to stop the dice from rolling. So when it is, when number of th times three is 13, dice will stop rolling because it is more than triple. So this number of two should not be more than double till then. Let's say number of two is now eight. Because if it is double, more than double, then dice will automatically stop, right? So four plus eight, 12 plus 13, 25. It's still 25 only. It's still not reaching to the answer, right? What I want is 30. That means its minimum value can't be three, can't be four, okay? Can the minimum value be 5? Can the minimum value be 5? Can the minimum value be 5? Check. If this is 5, then dice will stop rolling at 16. So 5 plus 16 is 21 because it is more than triple. Okay. So 5 plus 16, 21 at a mean time, this number of 2 should not be more than double. So what we are left with now? 5 plus 16, 21, 21 plus 9, 30. So this should be 9. So that's fine. It is not more than double. Then this is the condition we have for 30. And dice will stop roll now. Stop, stop rolling, rolling now, right? So he stopped rolling the dice after 30 rounds. What could a minimum possible number of times number one occurred? So it can't be any value less than five. At five, it's satisfied. So my answer for this question is five. Got it? Right? So this is how you need to think, right? This is, I'm bringing you a lot of unconventional sets in CAT, right? A lot of videos I'm preparing in this unconventional pattern in CAT. Just expose yourself to different varieties of sets, right? Very important once you start a video, pause that, 
try that LR for at LR set or DI set for at least 20, 30 minutes, right? That is really important because that will increase your problem solving skill. Directly looking at the solution will give you an idea, yeah, but it may not increase your problem solving skill that much, right? So trying for 20, 30 minutes and then looking at the solution will increase your thinking level. That's what we're looking for, right? I always watch for this. In quant also, I always tell, improve your IQ level. Once you're preparing for CAT, you got to improve your IQ level, right? And this is what in most important in CAT. Okay. Exams like CAT. Improve your problem solving skill. Correct. Now, let's move to fourth question. So, if the last 10 rolls when the rolling was stopped resulted in 2, what is the minimum possible total number of rolls? Okay. So, last 10 rolls has continuously been 2 here, right? So, what is the minimum troll? Uh, what is the minimum number of rolls? I'm saying troll actually. Troll is occurring a lot of these days on, on inter internet. So, it's about rolling. Okay. So how do you see? So what is the minimum condition here? Again, number of 1 plus number of times 2 has occurred plus number of times 3 has occurred. This I have to minimize. Minimize knowing that, knowing that 1, now this is a condition right, for each of the first 3 rows, a different number among 1, 2, 3 already occurred, right? That means 1 has occurred 1 time, 2 has occurred 2 time and 3 has occurred, sorry 2 has occurred 1 time and 3 has occurred 1 time. This is the minimum condition for this question actually, right? Now, how many times two has occurred? So I don't know some in between some chance. This is this is first. This is what this is for first three chances. Then something happened in the middle. I don't know. And at the last, ten has sorry two has occurred consequently or uh, uh, consecutively for ten times, right? So two has occurred ten times here. So at in middle, I don't know what is the value here, right? So total two has become 11. Okay. So what is the minimum number of rules needed for this? So just understand, right? So when two has occurred minimum 11 times, okay. So to stop the rolling number of times one would have occurred is has to be five and number of times three has to be occurred has to be five, right? Because, because you can say that, okay, if one is five, can I put, can I put a number as four here? If you can say that if one is five, can I put a number as four here? No, I can't put four because if this is four, then dice will not come at 11. Number of twos will not come at 11. Four double is eight, eight, just more than eight is nine. At nine only dice will stop. It won't come to 10 at all, right? That means these, any of the one and three cannot be four at all, right? So minimum number they have to be, minimum they have to be is five. So minimum they have to be is five. So 5 plus 5 is 10. Okay. In that case, if 2 has occurred 11 times, so in middle, this thing would have happened, right? In the middle, let's say after the first three chances, let's say 1 and 3 are occurring at alternate chances. So in next 10, 10 chance, 5 times 1 and 5 times 3. So total first three chances, this is next 10 chances. Sorry, next 8 chances actually because 1 has already occurred, no? Okay. So next eight chances because one already occurred one time, one already occurred one time. So what I'm saying is total, it has to be, uh, uh, five, right? So in second chance, in second chance, this number has to be four. Okay. So one plus four total five times and one plus four total five times. So one and three has to be five times and then two will get consecutively for 10 times. So at 11, since it is more than double of all these numbers, dice will stop rolling, right? So what is the total number of chances? 5 plus 11 plus 5 total 21. So 21 is the answer for this beautiful question. Okay. So I hope I have discussed a good set of uh, LRDI in CAT and unconventional pattern. I'll bring a lot of such sets to you. Okay. In next few months, this August is going on. We'll bring more such sets in August, September, right? So just keep watching all these uh, sets and try to increase your thinking level. Okay. That's what we need to do in LRDI. Thank you for watching.